Okay, so what's going on everyone? This is Pete from PeteIsip.com and I'm here with the vitamin D light because it's been cold out and haven't been getting a lot of sun and I've been running outside and making sure that I get that supplement of vitamin D. Jesus, that's bright. Well, anyway, makes my complexion look a little bit better as well. Um, talked a lot yesterday um, about believing and it's funny that I say that because um, as much as you think, it's very hard sometimes to, to even think of a thought, to even, did you say that? Think a thought? I guess I think a thought of believing in yourself. And I have something going on tomorrow that I'm not going to tell you what it is until till then. Um, some people know, but I'm not going to tell everyone. And, um, but I will tell you later. And... It's just one of those things that you aren't comfortable doing. And that's the main reason I'm doing this. I remember when I first saw it, I was like, ah, I can never do this. This is not me. This is not who I am. It's like, I'm, yeah, there's so many other people better than me. There's so many other choices in the universe and this and that and this and that. And I gave myself every single excuse why I should not do this. But practice what you preach. And these are the moments that I believe make me who I am. These are the moments that I believe that make anyone reach anything they want. It's that type of uncertainty, that type of something is here. Like it's, take this quarter and then swallow it. Don't do it in real life. And just keep it here for a little bit. And that's what it feels like. You know, just, it's just this weird feeling right here. This weird feeling in, in your gut and you don't like it. Your body doesn't like it. And uh, that's what you have to fight. You have to do it. When you have that, uh, do it. It's the same feeling you get when you want to ask a girl out. It's the same feeling you get when you got to do a presentation. It's the same feeling you get when you first walk into a gym or on your first date. It's that same feeling that you got to get through it. And that's what makes you successful because no matter what you do in life, you're going to have that feeling. You're going to have that that feeling of uncertainty, the change, something's not there. And in order for you to feel that same feeling I was talking about yesterday, that same energy that I was feeling about yesterday, you have to at least try it. You have to try it. You have to give it a shot. Now, am I talking, walking up to someone with a gun and shooting them in the head and I feel nervous? No, that's unhumane. You don't do that stuff. Am I talking about uh, fucking punching someone directly in the face because they, no, none of that stuff. That's not what I'm talking about if you hear me and misinterpret what I'm saying. If you're doing something for the good of you and you know that you belong there, that you know that you belong at the top and you should do this, you go for it. Go for it. G-F-I. That's what you do. When it pertains to you as a human being and you know it's something that you have to do. It's something that's going to make you better. It's something that might pull you up in life, make you another success, another stepping stone, something that's going to make you better. Yes, to fill your ego, yes. But at the same time to accomplish something. And that's the bottom line. Not because Stone Cold said so. And I knew someone out there probably said it in their head or, or stick it up, or did it that way. Um, I have you guys probably know what stick it up means. So, stick it up is when you say something corny. All right, in our group of friends, when you say stick it up, that means it's corny. Or funny, corny, anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm a little terrified. <laughs> so, you know, I gotta take a trip to New York City and I'll let you guys know uh, the outcome, see what happens, but. The message for today is why not? Why not do something? You know, if you always said you wanted to dance, why not sign up for dance lessons? What's to stop you? It'll give you that maybe extra feeling of energy. Is it anything that's going to be a payoff? Is it anything that's going to give you money? Probably not. Is it going to give you great well-being and a great feeling of life? Yeah, that's living. That feeling that Jeremy Lin felt that feeling of supernaturalism, that feeling of being able to do anything at any certain point. And you guys get it too. You guys get into that zone when you feel like you could do anything. And to be honest with you, you can. You just have to break through this 
this part to here. Get used to this feeling. Get rid of it. And you succeed. See you guys later. This is Pete. PeteSip.com. Five minutes, 11 seconds. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. I'd like to see more subscribers. I'd like to see more activity. Comment. Call me a penis. Call me anything. Do whatever you want. Just throw a comment on there. Just so I know that people are watching. Just so I know people are doing something. I understand there are people watching. But I'd like some feedback. Do you not like my likes? Do you not like this hat? First off, I don't know whose hat this is. Um, it was on the rack for like years. So I uh, washed it and now it's my hat. So if it's yours, you could, re you could take it back if you want to. But you know, I have it right now. What do you not like about this setting? Do you not like that that says crank? Do you not like the Rocky thing? Do you not like the picture of me and my friend inside the semi-homoerotic picture that we took in Florida? What don't you like about it? Do you not like the flying fuck that's also over there? Or that giant-sized bullet? Comment anything. <laughs> I don't care. I'll see you later.